So <clears throat> we are reading from uh, from the book Temple of Love, Gurudev's book Temple of Love. Uh, the part, chapter six. It's a. It's a, just to see if you have book. Someone has book. It's a page hundred twenty seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the title of a chapter is a "Flower Bouquet." of lamentations yeah obviously it's about vilapa kusumanjali flower of? flower bouquet of lamentations gurudev it's vilapa yeah. yeah you're sharing about vilapa yes <clears throat> okay we'll We'll read. Shila, Shila Ragunata Dasa's elevated prayers, Vilapa Kusumanjali, deal with the most intimate, loving service a soul can possibly perform. It's yes. the loving. Oh, last line not clear to her. Oh my Please. God. Okay, uh -huh. uh, once again. Sing it loudly. Yeah, you know, Gurudev, I, I, I'm holding my mic yeah. in front of my, in front of my, my mouth. But, but you last word, light. Ah, last okay. Once you are slow. Not one. Okay, okay. Let me try again. Shilaragunat Dasa's elevated prayers, Vilapakusumanjali, deal with the most intimate, loving service a spiritual soul can possibly perform. The loving service to Shrimati Radharani, the soul identifying herself as a very intimate lady friend of Shrimati Radharani. This is the gift, gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and by humbly following Goranga's teachings and the teachings of his acharyas under the guide, guidance of a loving, realized Sri Gurudev, we all can realize this gift and live forever happily in the kingdom of Radha Dasyam, the kingdom of service to Srimati Radharani. Srila Ragunath Das Goswami prays. Oh, my beloved spiritual master, you are always in the presence of the cowherd girl Radha, who is the daughter of King Vrishabhanu. Please, O oh my master, award me 
the loving service to your lotus-like feet, which are the proprietors of devotional service. Please, O oh my beloved spiritual master, place me in the ocean of joy by bestowing upon me the happiness in the mellows of service to the feet of Sri Radha in the groves of Vraja Dham. I am your humble maid servant, your unworthy maid servant. But I will hang this pearl necklace on you on oh, my Swamini. I will feel successful if I could bring your Sundara to you after hanging this necklace on you. And then it is as if Swamini's bodily effulgence gushes out from the verse <laughs> when Tulasi Manjari addresses her with the compound word Hema Gauri, golden girl. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Shrimati doesn't look at the pearl necklace. Shrimati looks at the pastimes that Tulasi describes to her. Krishna is himself like a sapphire necklace around the gopis' necks. Victory to Mohan, who fully adorns the young girls of Vrindavan, by being a sapphire necklace on their chest, by being the blackish eyeliner around their eyes, and by being the blue lotus flower on their ears. Radhika says, Mohan, you are the mirror in my hand. You are the flower on my head. You are the necklace around my neck and you are the all in all of my body and my house. 
you are to me what the wings are to the bird what the water is for the fish and what the life is to the soul o mohan what are you not to me again repeat it again mm. understand gurudev radhika says radhika is telling mm. mm. mohan you are the mirror in my hand what i you see, i see you because you are my mirror i know see my face in my face i see your face this mirror is only showing me you <laughs> you are the flower on my head as a blue lotus uh, flower some flower was in blue color this blue means krishna so <coughs> on my head always you are it in the form of flower you are always the same radhika is <coughs> mm. you are the necklace around my neck and you are the all in all of my body and my house necklace is very important to wear them. but this necklace is what you are my necklace means you are everything for me Her necklace is everything for the ladies. Means the real necklace for the benefit of their husband. This is the reason of necklace. And Guru Dev, it's very close, very close to the heart. Very yeah, close to the heart. close to the neck close to the feelings she say i know she the gold you are my neck as i see that i wear you in my neck you are all in all of my body and my house you are to me what the wings are to the bird do the so how to mean to her like a shelter mm-hmm. for her moha is house is moha the shelter mm-hmm. love and the shelter of radhika and can open and mohan is the love krishna is the love of radhika 
Yes, thank you. Uh, love of Krishna is a love of God. A love. When somebody is in love, his mind is fixed there. Center is not there. Mandiris are in the center of Nadi. Even what is the desire of happiness and wishes, fulfillment and service, feelings. Then what does it mean? Wing means I cannot fly without wings. The birds cannot fly with, without wings, and I cannot move without you. Your desire is make me to fly to fulfill. That is the meaning of wing. The water and the fish, they have so close relation. If the, you take out the fish out of the water, fish will die. Why? Because they have a love for each other. You are to me what the water is for the fish. You are my water, I am your fish. Without you, I will die. <coughs> Yeah. And you are to me what the life is to the soul. If you don't know the soul, you are not in life. You are acting without soul, lifeless. Dead person. I have no life. Soul is there, but no life. So you are my life. You give life to my soul. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mohan. What are you not to me? <laughs> that, that one is something that is no center of this, more deep than center. Yeah. In this way, Radha and Mohan belong to each other. Belong to each other. Rather than one, belong to each other. So in term is, I don't belong, but I try to surrender you. This is very basic stage. I'm trying, but I cannot surrender you. Surrender is very basic thing, and they belong to each other is different thing. They cannot live without each other. This is belonging. Mm -hmm. This is the divine connection of each other. They say, one soul, two body, and two soul, take one body is Chaitanya. Yeah. 
when they do so, Radha Krishna took one body is Chaitanya, and one soul take two body is Radha Krishna. Yeah. Hmm. Fira, that. Davuda, help me. I need your help. Yeah. My throat is not good yet. <coughs> yeah. Nothing is not Radha. Huh? Nothing is not Radha. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's a professor in France. Yeah. Yeah, Andagaji. <coughs> yeah. I'm here. Go on. Uddhaviji is also there. Shirade. Uddha is there or not? I cannot see. Uddhava is there? Yes, I, I'm there, Gurudev. Yes. Mm. Gaurvani is there too. Gaurvani is here? Yes. Gaurvani, come out. <laughs> Gurudev, I'm here. Jai 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 my obeisances and loving hugs to all of you. Go on, Andhikaji. Yes. So, now the Continuation. We will continue reading. It's a new, new topic, new subject. This time, together with Gurudev, we are reading again verse sixty-two and entering into verse sixty-three of Utkalika Valari. <laughs> the translation of the verse 63. Okay. Oh. oh Radha and Krishna, you are lovingly angry with each other for no reason and you refuse to look at each other <coughs> and although you are actually eager to make up you are both eager to keep your honor. Oh, when will I then make you smile and make you friends again when I falsely say to Krishna, O oh, Mukunda, why are you winking at me, at me from the corners of your eyes? <laughs> Our beloved Gurudev remarked three steps of the circumstances. 
The first circumstance is when they get angry at each other. Suddenly, something amazing happened. A new wave of rasa arose on the ocean of Yugala's love. They saw their own reflection in each other's golden and emerald complexioned chest and they both thought they were sitting with another lover so they became that angry with each other for no reason. Gurudev sharing. You know, eagerness is there and the desire to meet is also there. In these circumstances, what is happening? Angry. I will not talk to you. And the desire to meet. How to look at you, how to meet, both feelings are there. And in loving anger, both is happening. But my anger is so high that I don't want to talk. But every moment I'm desiring to meet. When anger, man, comes before meeting pranaya, then meeting becomes more tasteful. Because I cannot talk directly because of my ego and the angerness. But I would so much like to talk. <laughs> I don't want to look at you. But I look. I like to look at you from the corner of my eyes, hiddenly. Both, they desire so much to look at each other, but they cannot be the first to give in. Who will first do this? Yes, you. To speak the first word, to give the first smile. Then a devotee, Yashoda, comments, this is rasa. And Gurudev, this is rasa. And Srila Rupa Goswami wants to show this. This is the highest rasa. 
This is called pranayamana, pranayamana, or akarana mana. Jealousy without cause. And this man, jealousy without cause, is the culmination, the height of pranaya. Pranaya is the highest stage of man. Meeting is the highest stage of jealousy. <laughs> Shirad. I can. But mm. if it's a mm. deep subject, I can repeat it. Okay. And so. Let me make a comment. Let me make the look. Radha and Mohan think I don't want to look at you but I like to look at you from the corner of my eyes hiddenly hidingly both, they want to look at each other, but they cannot be the first to give in. Who will do this? Who will speak the first word to give the first smile? Gurudev, is this rasa? And Gurudev says, this is rasa. Srila Rupa Goswami wants to show us this. This is the highest rasa. This is called pranayamana or akaranamana, jealousy without a cause. Mana is culmination of pranaya. Pranaya is the highest stage of man. Jealousy is the culmination of meeting. Meeting is the highest stage of jealousy. And then Gurudev continues explaining. This is so beautiful when, when in love doubts are coming. This is so beautiful when in love doubts are coming. Krishna sees the reflection of his face in Radhika's chest. And he is doubting. My Radha has some boyfriend? In the same way, Radhika sees the reflection of her face in Krishna's chest. 
and says, Oh, who is this girl with Krishna? Doubting words. This is man. Man means angerness. And in this transcendental mood of rejection, rasa is increasing because the desire of meeting increases. But both Radha and Krishna don't want to give in because they are angry. I would like to talk to you. I would like to look at you. I want. But there is a feeling of man. No reason. <laughs> the course of love is naturally crooked, like that of a snake. And thus, for the loving couple, there is a peak, sometimes with cause and sometimes without cause. Gurudev explains, the course of love sometimes moves like a snake. Why? Because sometimes it creates doubts, sometimes devotion, then again doubt. They do like this, like a snake. And then pranaya is meeting, is also like that, crooked. Crooked means not straight. <clears throat> it comes in waves. If the love of the lovers doesn't come in waves, it will not increase. Waves are the attraction of any ocean. Waves are the attraction of any ocean. Mm. The following is the second step that Gurudev was explaining about this pastime on how lovingly and tactfully Rupa Manjari is helping Radha Mohan. After some time, they both realized their mistake 
and they both became eager to make up again and speak with, with one another. But hmm, pride caused them to think, I will not speak first. I will not speak before he or I will not speak before she speaks. King Karirupa knew exactly what her beloved couple was going through. So Rupa broke the silence by telling Krishna, Hey Mukunda, why are you winking at me? <laughs> Swami is angry with you. <laughs> She doesn't want to speak even a word to you. Then both lovers thought, it's done, and smiled at each other again. And Swamini says, Hey, Shyam, you spoke first. <laughs> and Shyam said, No, 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 you did. I never winked at Rupa. She's lying. And then Radha said, My maidservants never lie. They know. They don't know even how to lie. <laughs> but as usually, you are lying. <laughs> Thus, they sweetly quarreled on. What a wonderful service Rupa Manjari rendered by speaking such Lie. Blessed are these maidservants. They know how to serve the divine couple with their heart. These lies are the essence <laughs> of the truth of loving devotion. Then, the third step is to see their mercy. To see how by doing this special seva, they give their remnants to the manjaris. Actually, Radhika is giving. Radhika is giving. Back in the verse 62, we can see how Sri Rupa had used her intelligence 
in helping Sri Radhika crossing the obstacles caused by her superiors and had arranged for Radhika's meeting with her anxious lover Krishna in Akunja. Swamini's heart melted from her maid servant qualities with hundreds of mouths radhika praised her maid servant rupa's cleverness and intelligence to shyam shri rupa served the divine pair betel leaves then fanned them and Radha and Mohan were enchanted by the qualities of their maidservant and they both thought and felt we should give this girl some reward Shirada Mohan don't want to give just something that they like but something that the maid servant herself like the most and they know what rupa likes gurudev's sharing betel nuts is a spiced leaf It is so important because Radhika is tasting it. Radhika is eating it. And I personally respect them as prasad. Why? Because, ooh, <laughs> Ishori, <laughs> I don't have the next page. <laughs> Maybe you can continue reading, please. No, it's a page. So, which page? You continue reading uh, page 132. So, 131, bottom. And then 132. Arigato.
Krishna is eating. So, he gets them from his master man to Radhika. Then, she gives them in the leaf cup to the manjari. And then, manjari are taking Mahaprasad. Again. Teach you first. And Krishna took from Radhika's mouth. So then, Krishna is eating. So, he gave them from his mouth to mouth to Radhika. Then Radhika gives remnants in the leaf cup to the manjaris. And then manjaris are taking Mahaprasad. This is the point. They are coming from the mouth of both of them. Understand? So, everybody has to respect this prasada. Feeling this to increase this pain. For the Manjaris, it is fortunate that Manjaris took from the mouth of Radhika and Krishna. They feel very fortunate. And they feel surprised. They are Radha Dasya. So we have to follow Sri Rupa Manjari to learn this intelligence. If I have to lie to make them happy, then I will do this seva also. Yoshada says. So the, the Buddha is a devotee. She was sitting there. Mother Jasudane is just Devotee Yashoda. 
Devo pigliare solo da sette. So, intelligence is love and surrender. Intelligence is love and surrender. Good day. Intelligence is that I can do anything for you. No dharma is there. Yashoda says, It is like when you eat this rice in Ekadashi day from your Guru Deva. Guru Deva. Yes. I don't see the Dharma. Jai Jai Shri Could you explain again this regular with your group then? How? Why? Marcy, I see. Not rice, I see. But that's understand. Only mercy, I see. Then they want to give mercy and accept it. When somebody give mercy, which way and which way will come to us. If we deny, we cannot accept. So we have to ready to accept all the time mercy. And that time is mercy. I was six months in ecstasy. I don't know. I forget my material senses because it was really mercy. My Guru Majjari gave me a special Kripa to my life. Shiva. Yeah. Yeah, more. Yes. Go more. I want to be around the Guru Deva. Was explained verse 64 and 65 of Utukarika Barari. Amabi Ramadu Gurudeva was explained verse 64. And sixty five, to carry cover it. Bus sixty four. Oh, Lord, and mysteries. When can I have the opportunity? To make you look most beautiful in the country by painting these pictures on your foreheads with different kinds of colors and fragrance. Again, that was a good thing. Oh Lord and the mysteries. When can I have the opportunity to make you look most beautiful? 
In the future, by painting these, these painting these pictures on your foreheads with the different kinds of colors and favor circumstances. Good event. You see a beautiful painting on your forehead. It's personal. You cannot say, I will paint to you. Yeah. You can also see it. I will claim to you without passing. You. I will claim to you without passing you. Without looking at you. Without thinking of you. What I have to make? What design I will paint? It is personal. I want to paint something nice in your forehead. With different kinds of colors. I will put some fragrance also flavor or two that I can stay in that flavor myself. Yeah. I will put some fragrance also, flavor also, that I can stay in that flavor myself. And I am searching whole of my life. This beautiful thing. And you, you are the most beautiful things to see. And when I will serve from my hand. By painting designs on your foreheads, in your body, then it will become more easy to meditate on you. It's so, Mirade, just um, a thought, if I might. What did we hear here from Gurudev speaking is how merciful Radha is to give us service. She doesn't give us service to do because she needs help. She's a goddess. 
she gives us service to do so that our hearts can pass through this experience of caring, of loving, of giving love, of, of decorating the face, of smelling the fragrance, of seeing the sights. The service is for us so that we can feel love and so that our love can grow. This is mercy. Yeah. Yeah. Your fragrance will catch me by making this design to you. You will catch me. My heart will be always there. My mind will be always fixed on your service. Page 197. In the previous verse, Shurira Rupa Goswami had attained some very blissful devotional service. Oh. And when the vision disappears, he begins to remnant. Oh, Radha Madhava, where are you? I could not be a maid servant as you wanted it. Now I've fallen out of your personal service. Into some desert. Please take me to your lotus feet. Where are now these wonderful and ecstatic flowers from the jewel white? Where is that new enchanting Kuncha Kopeji? Where are all these divine paraphernalia meant for summoning you? If only I could become a tree or a vine like to the Kunja where you are enjoying then I didn't have to suffer so much separation from you anymore. And I would have been blessed with your constant association. Good neighbor sharing. You see? 
There are two circumstances. We are out. We are in the bodily consciousness. And we suffer. But we feel like this is the best. Loud. We are out. We are in the bodily consciousness. And we suffer. But we feel like this is the best. We create more suffering because we lose the goal of mercy of Swami. We don't want to develop my spiritual identity, my Manjari Swarupa. We want to be happy with my material form. We don't want to develop with my spiritual form, my spiritual identity. Don't want to be a servant of Radhika. I don't want to have the desire to be in the country service, only desiring will change our life. Only desiring will change our life. And one is crying, suffering to be with Swamini's Seva. It will change my life. My way of life is changing. You see? There are two kinds of inner circumstances. Very clearly, he is saying this. These are our acharyas who are teaching what is happening. And how we can grow ourselves in this direction. Quotation from page 198. Now I have fallen out of your personal service into some desert. Good then. What is the meaning there? 
When it is mentioned being in the desert, what happened in the desert? You, you become thirsty first and when you see the desert, you see the water because of the sun. And you feel from a distance there is water. And you learn to get there because water is there. But when you reach there, there is no water. It is a desert. And the heat waves of the sun gave a wrong impression. So, what is material life? This is happening in the same way we are learning, thinking that I will drink some sweet water in an oasis. I will get my goal there. But when I reach, there is nothing. Then again, I run for another. Like this, we are running and running and running. But running around in the desert, my thirst is not satisfied. What? My thirst, thirsty, is not satisfied. This material world, this material world is like a desert. Again, quotation from page 198. It is as if Sri Rupa Goswami directly experiences all these services, although he is just having visions. And this is also how the aspirants that are fixed in Smarana should release the merit of the devotional services. In an advanced stage of Smarana, 
the devotee no longer thinks I am doing smarana, but he simply thinks I am serving them directly. You see, it's so nice what Rupa is Rupa Goswami is teaching. It's that the service itself is the highest. And we can remember, we can think how full of love we feel, but have no way to give it. And being having the privilege of serving another, any other, of course, but most of all of serving Swamini. This is for Bhakti the highest. Think of when think of when we are in love. Think of when we're in love and, and there aren't enough ways to give that love to the one we love. It's frustration constantly. How can I show that I love? How can I give my love? How can I share my love? And this is that same longing that Rupa Goswami has in material body, longing to serve, longing to let the love out of his heart. So this is why service, seva, is so high in, in bhakti, because it's the way that love grows, and it's the way that love flows. Good yeah <coughs> yeah we'd like to share some short uh, recently I was reading uh, trying to read again Manjari Sarupa Nirupana and uh, then I found there was a there is a um, chapter on Udipana, on kindlers, what fires the love. And then <clears throat> it's described, these different kindlers of love are described. And they are like black color, Tamil tree, blue sky. <laughs> Moon, the lakes, and lotus flowers. And then the other Kunja Bihari Baba says, Okay, now and now we will talk about Bhava Lasarat. He says, The Bhava Lasarati kindler is insight. Love, and this kindler, what lights the love of Manjaris? Love. Ah, this kindler, what lights the life of Manjaris is only one and it grows from inside, from the desire to make Radha happy. 
And this is the specialty of Bhavolasa. And therefore the name Bhavolasa comes something that grows on its own. It doesn't need outside inspiration. It grows from its own substance. <laughs> and it's always increasing, increasing, increasing no end. The feelings of manjaris, the ecstasy of manjaris, the desire to ra please Radha more, then the more ecstasy, the more feelings, the more, um, the more uh, desire again. So this for me was like, oh my God, <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm. And also it one, spontaneous. Yes, yeah, spontaneous on its own, from its own nature, mm -hmm. increases from its own nature. <clears throat> and then I found we read <clears throat> in Radha Rasa Sudanidi also one feature of Manjari Bhava. So uh, Manjari is arranged for the meeting of Radha and Krishna. And then Krishna Mohan was so happy and enjoying with Radha in various ways. And then Radha said, no. And she woke from the, from the seat. She was sitting and made her move. And then Mohan saw her back. And she was like, wow, what a sight. <laughs> Mohan saw her hips. Ooh, what a walk. Then Radha cast it on a sidelong glance. And then Mohan thought, wow, what a look. And Manjaris could see Radha through through Krishna's feelings. Manjaris felt everything that Krishna felt for Radha, for their Radha. Radha is ours. And now Mohan is feeling for our Radha. She, he is feeling our Radha. And then we feel our Radha through Mohan. My God. <laughs> Shri Rad. Shri Rad. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Guru Direct perception means that one becomes absorbed. It is called dhyana. This fixed marana is one point. Smarana means to be fixed in your swarupa, seva. Mr. Kalikabarari, verse 65. Oh, best of masters, Shri Krishna. Oh, my mistress, Shri Radhike. I don't even have a spark of that treasure. Of love. 
in my heart. We did need it to easily attain the fortune of your service. Still, simply by constantly living in Brazil, my hope is strengthened. Oh, best of master, Shri Krishna. Guru Dev. You are the best of masters. Why? Because by your grace, you sent me to Swami. I knew you only, but you showed me your lava radica. So, you are the best of masters. You showed me the right place. How to go on with that? So, you are the master, best master. You sent me to my spiritual master. Because it was difficult to find you. But you showed me indirectly to go to the spiritual master. And he will show you what is the way to move on. And based on the master, You bring me to Vrindavan. To stay. And give me some change to live here. You are not my lover. You are my master. My love is my Swami. My love is my Swami. I want to be a major servant of her. Oh, my mistress, Shri Radike. Gurudeva comment. 
Oh, my mistress, my everything radical. You are my mistress. You are my boss. You are everything to me. Without you, there is nothing. Without you, there is nothing. You are the love of God. When love takes the form, she is radical. <laughs> when love takes the form, she is radical. If Krishna becomes the supreme personality of Godhead, it is because he is Brajendra Nandana. Because of you, he becomes the supreme person. This is the fact. <laughs> He starts dancing for you. He starts doing everything. Stealing for you. He wants to meet you. Then he attracts everything. He does not do this in Dwaraka. He does it only in Brindaba. He is a cowboy because of you. He is a cowboy because of you. He becomes a cowboy that he does not need to leave the cow. Everybody loves him because he can take care nicely. You are the creator of all the universes. You are the creator of all the universes. But you become happy to be a kind boy. Mm -hmm. You are the creator of all the universes, but you become happy to be a cowboy. This is the love. The kindness of the love of Swamini of my Swami. She gives so much love to you. Andakaji, uh, next is different topic. Shall we go on? Or how do you feel? Now, slow reality time is coming. How do we go? Did you continue? Maybe uh, I would like to ask maybe uh, Rikimagiri 
Mahima Giri would like to share something on a guy Shima. <laughs> or some yeah. or some other devotees maybe. Dade, dade. ありがとうございます。本当に。俺は通訳をしていただけるんでしょうか。秋翔さん。よろしくお願いします。Thank you, Rade. I'm very surprised to know. クリシュナ、クリシュナが牛飼いの商人になり、クリシュナ、ビカムカウボーイ。みんなのお世話をしていると。ゆっくりしてきたエブリワン。そしてクリシュナのところにみんな集まると。エブリワン、ギャザーウ
we can trust of God. いかに早くいかにたくさん配るか愛は待っているんじゃないかなと思っています。We are waiting for I think. すべての人のところに愛が届くことを愛は望んでいるんじゃないかなと思っています。I think love wants these loves go to all people. クリシュナが牛飼いの少年として見せてくれたものが長いかなと思っていますありがとうございますこれでエナダモハ